I dreamt last night of my father, who willingly traveled to an unknown land to find the promise of eternal salvation, for he had dreamt for me to be born into heaven. Upon arrival, my father knelt down on his knees and placed his palms to the earth and felt the mud in between his fingers. Smiling with gratitude, he said, Thank you, Mother, for now I have found a home. But before my father could rise, he felt pressure on his shoulders, which traveled down his back and settled into his spine. He looked up to find the configuration of a man whose details were blocked by the burning of the sun that lay slightly behind him. He felt the man smile with greed and heard the man say, thanks to my God, I know now what I may own. And he gathered my father and chained him to his brother, who was chained to his brother, who was chained to his brother, and so on and so forth in such a way that when my father took a step back, so too did his brothers. But when my father took a step forward, all of his brothers behind him fell to their knees. And all of these men, my father included, were marched inland and they were told that damnation lay at the other side of the ocean, but that divinity could be found in the height of the trees that were eventually cut down, or in the blue of the sky that was constantly shadowed by clouds that turned out to be smog, or in ignorance, although my father had always been an intelligent man or at the end of a leather whip they pulled from the pages of the Bible like a bookmark used to make my father dance, used to make my father kneel, used to make my father cry, used to make my father fear himself, or the self he knew only through the figure of a man who had chained him to his brothers and told him that damnation lay at the other side of the ocean. And so my father, who was once an amazing swimmer, for he was born into the water, forgot where he came from, forgot he was a navigator, forgot he could build, forgot he was a warrior, forgot he could fight, forgot he was a survivor, forgot he could love, forgot he was a father, forgot he could care, forgot he was a man with a mother who had died and whose ashes had spread themselves around the world and settled themselves in the dirt that lay at my father's feet, grounding him, supporting him, uplifting him. But in my dream, I could sense that my father did not feel uplifted at all, that he felt drowned, that he could not see, that he could not breathe, and so he did not speak to me as I called out to him. I said, Daddy, reach for my hand. Teach me to swim. And in that moment, I woke up. Somewhere on the other side of the ocean.